and welcome back to Plan to Be Perfect. Um, today's video is one that's actually pretty close to my heart because it's something that I probably have been dealing with for a while now. Um, it is New Year's Eve and I thought I'd just kick off the new year with a new video. Uh, so I'm sitting by the cozy fire. You probably will hear my kids a few times like they're whispering right now. <laughs> because they're waiting to record their own video. But I thought what better way to bring in the new year. <laughs> Can I please do my video? Um, but anyway, so I just thought I'd kick off the new year with um, a video like this because I definitely needed to hear something like this. It's something I really needed to hear for myself and be reminded of for myself. And so I just decided to make this because I'm sure if I'm feeling this way, then I know that there are people out there feeling this way. I decided to make a video about how to be happy as a teacher at work. Um, so I'm just going to jump into 10 quick things that you can do to ensure your own happiness for the rest of this school year. So the first tip, number one, is to just be friendly. Um, and I know that sometimes it's out of your comfort zone. I know that sometimes it's kind of out of my comfort zone to go out of my way to be friendly because I am kind of shy and that's probably not something you'd assume because I'm on YouTube. However, like I am a shy person and so I think even at my job people assume that like maybe I'm just <laughs> like resting face all the time. Y'all know how to finish that sentence but um, I really just am a shy person and I've always been that way and sometimes I'm a little socially awkward which is okay. Um, I know that it's hard because sometimes like it seems like other people are not friendly and you want to take it personally but the truth is they're probably just like you and just kind of like stuck in like their own thoughts and they're not thinking about how they're portraying themselves to other people because they're just in their own world and their own mind and their own problems and so you can't take it personally and yes there are some people that are mean but you just be that light and just try to like make it a point to be friendly even when you don't feel like it and even when there are people that are not being friendly back to you just try it and see how that goes but it definitely does make you feel better because there will be that person that like you might make a difference in their life and focusing on like being a light to other people and not just who's gonna be like to you like just totally changes your perspective and it just makes you feel better about life and about yourself tip number two that's really helped me is when like you see negative people cuz like I know that I've been in a negative funk for a while but when I see people being negative I think about okay well why am I negative sometimes and the reason I'm negative sometimes is because I like just have things going on and so think about like what's behind their actions if somebody mouths off to you or if someone has an attitude or their email comes across the wrong way like think about like what could be going on in their lives that is making them react this way because nine times out of ten like well ten times out of ten everyone has something going on in their lives and you never know what that something might be and it could be something like a parent that's ill or a family member that's ill or some kid that's you know their kid is not acting right like you never know the situation so like I just think that you should just assume that like everybody has something assume that everyone has something going on and just assume that perhaps their attitude or the way they're treating you is not a direct hit at you and it's more so like a reflection of what they're going through and maybe your kindness can be a light to them so i think sometimes that we're when we're unhappy when people are negative towards us we make we like allow that to build up on our negative emotions especially working at a school because like we're already sometimes negative about what's going on or what's not going on so when we get a nasty email or we take it as a nasty email or administration like add something else to our plates or whatever it might be like we're so quick to like you know add that to our list of negativity of reasons not to be happy but the truth is we don't really know what that person's dealing with like the person that's handing down more mandates there's probably somebody on their back or the person that's being negative to you, they probably have something going on. So just keep in mind that everybody has something. Tip number three is to find a focused student. Um, and what that means is to just think about all of the students that you teach. I teach about 100 kids, and I know that if you're elementary, your kids, your classes are a lot smaller, and you probably know them a lot better than 
um, than I can, like as an elementary school, I mean a middle school teacher. Um, but just find one kid that you notice needs some extra love, like whether there's a parent that's not around or that should be around more that's not, or maybe they're just having difficulties at home, like whatever it might be, just find a kid that needs some extra love and focus every day on how can I make this kid's life better? How can I make this kid's day better? Because when you turn your focus off of your unhappiness, and you focus it on someone else that totally changes your perspective number one number two you're not thinking about what's wrong in your world and your life and number three it's just gonna make you feel better to know that you did something positive that day to make that kid's life a little bit better so find a focus student and focus on making them happy tip number four drink coffee enough said no, but really, like, on top of coffee, just having a good morning, like, find your morning routine that just totally makes your day, like, that makes your day way better. If I have a perfect morning, I get up and I will get up on time and I will do, like, some sort of quick workout, whether it's, like, a quick run one time around the neighborhood or um, just, like, a couple quick things, like, I just go on Pinterest and search up, like, quick morning workouts or morning routine um, and then I have some coffee and some water and like the mixture of the coffee and the water just totally gives me a boost and like just having certain things that if you do it you know you're gonna make your morning a good one and a productive one like find what that is for you and do that and yes coffee but on top of coffee like just having a good morning routine totally makes the rest of your day a lot better and makes it feel like it's a lot smoother Tip number five is instead of finding what's negative in everything, try to find the humor or the good. Like, let's say maybe it's a negative situation and there's not really much good you can find. Like, try to find the humor then. Like, just developing a sense of humor and um, focusing on the good or what's funny or what's happy about a situation, even when it seems to be the worst situation, really does tend to help. And, like, even, like, if your kids are awful that day and they do something, like, find what's funny about that and just laugh about it like in the end did it kill you no you're still here you're still kicking so find like what's funny about that find what's good about that and like what did you if if neither one of those is happening then at least find like what did you learn about it did you learn did you grow something like try to find the positive in every situation and i think that definitely helps in your happiness Tip number six is try not to isolate yourself. Like I know that becomes really easy, especially when you're like negative, and that's been my issue. Like I've really, is I've really isolated myself a lot this year because like I just, I've just been going through some things like career-wise, and I don't really know what my next step is, and that's been affecting me. And so I think I've really isolated myself. Um, and then a lot of my good friends have left or moved grades or whatever it might be, and. I just feel alone a little bit a lot of the time and I've isolated myself and kept myself from really just getting to know the people that are around and that does affect you so isolating yourself and closing your door like obviously there are times you need to close your door to get work done or you won't get work done um, but don't isolate yourself totally like you know get to know people do things outside of work like that's basically like I'm pretty sure studies have shown <laughs> Like, even if I'm making this up myself, but I'm pretty sure it's true that, like, teachers that are the happiest are the ones that have friendships outside of the school building. So, even if it's just one person that you just really click with that works with you, then just hang out with that one person. But just don't do everything by yourself. Like, find someone to make friends with. Tip number seven is to find a positivity mentor. And this is something that I am trying to do um, or looking for. Just someone, like, just start paying attention to the people that seem to always be positive or even if they're not always positive um just like they they don't necessarily show it like i there are people that like i feel like i can't be negative around because every time you say something negative they turn it into a positive and that makes me feel super guilty because like i'm like oh this sucks or that sucks and they're just like well there's there's a good thing about this like they're just always so positive and you know i wish i were them you know i wish that i were more like that and I realize, you know what, I need to maybe hang out with more people like that. So find like that person, like even if they're not 100% positive all the time, like just someone that's more positive than you and figure out like, cause the 100%, they're not happy with everything. Like they're not, but they find within themselves some sort of way to make 
positive or or make it positive or like shine a good light on what's going on so just like hang around the more you hang around positive people it will like you know come off onto you they'll send their vibes onto you so um i have that person in my mind of who that is where i work and this person like is super positive all the time and even when things are bad like she tends to find her own solution and she tends to just you know have a much better positive outlook on life and she always seems happy and smiling no matter what and I want to be that person I want to be that person I want to be like that I want someone to look at me one day and say that and um, so I definitely am gonna hang around her a lot more in 2018 and hopefully she'll rub off on me some more number eight is to write down like your daily gratitudes things that you're grateful for like grateful that you even have a job thankful that like you're not homeless or thankful that you have a roof over your head and a nice fireplace to sit in front of like things we take for granted if you just look at the lives of some of your students and you think about what they have to deal with you know like it's kind of crazy and not just students teachers because i have things in my past that like i look back at that person that i was back then and you know what i was dealing with and i'm like i'm so grateful that I'm not in that predicament anymore. And there are teachers that you work with every day that just have, my hair is crazy, I'm sorry. But there are teachers that you work with every day that deal with some really crazy situations at home. And you have no clue. And even if you're that person that has crazy situations, like think about the, the positive things that you don't have to deal with. Like, or think about the positive side of your life and the things you don't have to deal with and the things that, you know, just finding what's good and if you are in a bad situation daydream think about how to get out of it or how to make it better you know just like reflect on like the fact that you even have the power to change your situation and I know that like everybody has stuff going on and everybody has situations but like there's always something positive in your life and even if you just literally have to write down what you're grateful for that's gonna just totally make you like change your mindset that you know I should be grateful for what I have and it will definitely make you feel happier tip number nine is something that I really want to try to do at, like at 2018 and that's to just like make your class happy for you make it fun for you I mean like if you're not having fun there's no way on earth that those kids are having fun so like think of things that you would love to do in the classroom like what would make teaching more fun for you well do that and I guarantee just the fact that you're having fun is gonna make it more fun for your students because it's like nine times out of ten the kids have fun because they see their teacher having fun and their teachers in a good mood and that's what kids like like if you want to know what makes your kids like you it's the fact that you're in a good mood and that you're happy and that you have fun when you teach like that's literally it that's literally it you don't have to have a game every day you don't have to like have the best, most creative, prettiest lessons ever, even though I'm sure they like that too. But the the bottom line is that if you seem happy and you seem excited to be there and you're having a good time, they're going to have a good time. And on top of that, they're gonna be better behaved because they just enjoy your presence and they enjoy the like excitement that you have to be their teacher. So whatever it is that you need to do to have fun in your classroom, whether it's music, if music makes you happy, bring music in the classroom if you are a movie buff well then incorporate movie clips into your teaching somehow even if it's like every 10 minutes you stop and have a clip and have a discussion like something that's gonna make you excited about teaching your kids like do it just do it if it means like making your classroom look like your living room do it <laughs> like whatever is gonna make you happy and feel comfortable in your classroom like you spend way more time there than you do at home do it and I guarantee it's gonna brighten your mood just a little bit to make you feel happier at work tip number 10 kind of goes with um, some other things I've said today but it actually is a stem off of something my pastor said at church I go to 12 stone which if you're in the Atlanta area I'm sure that you've heard of 12 stone because like everybody sees those little 12 stone stickers on pe the back of people's cars um, but a few weeks ago our our pastor you know talked about um, focusing on other people and that really 
stuck with me and that like your happiness you know a lot of times we're so focused on what we don't have and what what we have what goals we haven't reached yet but like when you really take the time to focus on someone else and make their life better and be a light to them and to show love to them and to show kindness to them like you totally forget about what you don't have and you forget about what's wrong in your life you you're just thinking about like what you can do to make them better to make their lives better and just overall like look for things you can do in your own power it doesn't take money but like it might take a little time it might take a little effort but what can you do to make someone's life better whether that's your administrators whether that's other teachers around you whether it's students whether it's family members is there anything you can do to make others lives better easier happier and i guarantee you this is probably the best tip ever like when you start focusing on them and you start focusing on like what can you do to help others you're gonna feel so much better like you're not gonna have time to be sad you're not gonna have time to sulk you're not gonna have time to be unhappy because is you realize this is not about me this is about like what can i do to change the world even if it's one person at a time one student at a time one teacher at a time one administrator at a time you know you're really gonna just focus more on their happiness and in essence that's gonna give like more drive and fuel and fire <laughs> to to your whole purpose in life it's gonna help you find your purpose and once you find your purpose and you feel like you're doing your like what you're meant to do in life I mean everything's not gonna be perfect in life I can't promise that but I can promise you that it's gonna make everything seem a little bit brighter so with that said, I hope you're having a fabulous 2018. I am really gonna try super hard to stick to an uploading schedule this year where I upload by Monday morning, sometimes Sunday night. I'm just gonna tell you roughly. But <laughs> my goal is to, to upload Sundays, Sunday night, Monday mornings um, for however long. Like, I, that, that's just my goal. I really wanna dive into YouTube and that's one of my resolutions this year or goals or focuses or whatever you want to call it. I want to do that this year and so this is going to be my first video hopefully of many and I hope that you join me for this journey and I hope that you're happy and I hope that if you're not happy or if you're like me and you found yourself unhappy or you found yourself unfulfilled or you found yourself like just in a rut or a stink or a funk or whatever you want to call it. I hope that at least one of these tips like you can just really grab onto it and go with it and go on this journey with me hair hair <laughs> but just go on this journey with me and as we help each other just to help like find happiness the small things in life that can just help us feel a little bit more fulfilled in life and i wish you a very merry merry christmas no no a very happy 2018 and a happy new year and I love you all and I'm so excited to go on and embark on this year with you. Until next time, stay perfect guys.